Good morning. Well, good morning to you ladies. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Yes, indeed. I am back at it once again for the divine, the finance, feminine, daily bread. Most indefinitely. Yes, indeed. I don't know what the hell most indefinitely mean. I don't know where that came from, ladies. Excuse me. Excuse me. I ain't, you see I'm drinking water. I ain't got my coffee this morning. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on. Mm -mm. So we here. We here to find out what is going on for our daily nourishment our daily bread for tuesday the 23rd and tomorrow wednesday the 24th of april yes indeed shout out to all my new subscribers what's going on what's going on big up to you all right um if anyone wants to book a personal and private reading click my booking in the about tab it says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me my instagram link is there as well make sure after you book you need to select the video platform have it be instagram or you can use my email address which is scorpion reds at gmail.com and you can send me a message on uh google hangouts okay so after you book make sure you have a pick google hangouts or instagram for us to connect for the video reading if you do not feel comfortable with the video reading there is an additional ten dollar add on for a direct video upload to youtube for you to get a private link you will not be able to interact with me like a private um you know face-to-face -face chat video but you do have that option just in case you do not feel comfortable with getting on the camera if this video resonates and if you want to send some love to the page you can do so um i did get the new deck all right the signs from spirit love oracle from mystic moon so thank you guys so much for the love that you guys have been sending to the page because it allows me to put the love back into the page so thank you guys so much as you can see look Major, I think the vast majority of all of these decks are brand new. And it's all thanks to you and the love that you guys have been sending to the page. So thank you guys so much, all right? So let's get into the reading. Thank you so much, Father God, for waking us up today. Thank you so much for bringing us here for our daily bread, our daily nourishment for April the 23rd and the 24th. Thank you so much for having a good Easter weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you for just allowing us to be with family, to be loved, and just be nurtured by, you know, all, you know, and being around, you know, true love and fellowship. I really appreciate all of the love that you've been sending our way, Father God, all of the blessings that you've been sending our way, Father God. Thank you so much for lifting us high and keeping us elevated above the BS. Uh, a lot of us, you know, there's a lot of stuff been going on and we just, we, we've been, it's not what happens is what we choose to react to and we've been choosing to preserve our energy and to protect our energy and um, we thank you so much for that high elevation father god please give us guidance for the divine feminine for april the 23rd and the 24th thank you so much for all of the blessings in the past present and future please give us guidance again daily bread nourishment for the divine feminine again for today tuesday and wednesday april the 23rd and the 24th thank you again all right so let's see what we got going on ladies in the mercedes how many y'all drive a mercedes let me see them beep beeps who got the keys in the jeeps in the in the comment beep 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 okay who got the keys to the jeep okay all right please give me guidance divide oh, feminine Okay, we got the Knight of Cups, and then we got the Eight of Cups. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. What type of mermaid spirit energy we got going on. How we going to be navigating through these waters today and tomorrow, ladies? Let's find out. Shout out to my water signs out there. Let me see them waters. Let me see them drops. Let me see them splashes in the comments. All my water signs watching. Let me see them splashes, okay? Let me see all my fire signs. All my fire signs. What's going on? Fire signs. What's going on? Oh, oh, oh. 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 
Somebody trying to be honoring Divine Masculine tomorrow. Hold on. What? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. What's going on? Oh. What's going on, ladies? Say respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. Oh, oh, oh. It's in, in, in the Eight of Cups. Somebody looks like they walking back. Like they might be going back to, or they might be going back home. Hmm. What's going on, lady? Queen of Coins in reverse. Oh, okay. And I don't know why it's in reverse. Oh. I'm taking your guard down. Oh. Ladies, what the hell is going on? Okay, ladies, hold on now. Some of them like, looks like some ladies went back on home. Went back over on yonder. And now uh, they done met their true divine masculine. They done took their guard down. Okay. Because this got to be true divine masculine energy. This is respecting men. This is... You're taking your guard down, honey. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Wait a minute. You're taking your guard down. But your heart ain't bad. What is going on, ladies? In the Mercedes. Which way is you driving the Mercedes, girl? What is going on? We got the Knight of Cups up there. Endurance. You're feeling like your money ain't together, you know? And you still working through that release, you know? a lot that just flew out. Feathers, protection. What is this here? Bones, indestructible. Huh. Hmm. What in the hell? What's playing in the background? Because I got to pay attention to the music. Because a lot of times, the music in the background be fitting with whatever be going on with the reading sometimes. <laughs> what, is, what song is this? This that got down. Um, ooh. I'm just saying brown booty cheeks on the TV. Hold on, baby. I forget what this song is about. Come inside you, baby. Let me come inside you. Mm. Hermit. The will of fortune. At least it's in the upright. Ain't on no chicken head shit. Cause she be on some chicken head shit sometimes. But shit, in this video, she about to feed him to some old hungry fat bitch. Like she about to kill him with a hatchet saw. What type of weird ass shit is this damn girl on? I hope y'all not about to feed y'all uh y'all ex up to no no fat bitch with a hatchet saw. Is that what y'all doing? No? I hope not. Praise <laughs> dear Lord Jesus. Lord help. Help these people. Father God. <laughs> what is this poor baby doing? Oh God. Oh Lord, it's blood. Oh, this poor baby. He did. What is going on with these children in these videos? <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, help me for this poor baby. This poor baby. See, that's why y'all niggas don't need to be on that fuck shit. Y'all be listening. Y'all be thinking these bitches be letting y'all back. They be letting y'all back to put something in your goddamn greens and shit. Y'all don't let them piss these bitches off. <laughs> I can't.
can't even think of that poor baby name. What is that baby name? Maybe I shouldn't know what the hell her name is, but I just know she be making a whole bunch of little chicken head ass songs. Talking a whole bunch of little chicken head ass shit. I ain't got time for it. I ain't got it to do. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm almost done with these shuffles. wisdom for today and Wednesday. Fuck fear and fucking apologize. Now what we apologize for? Nothing, girl. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing like shit, boy. We ain't about to apologize to none of none of you. To none of none of you. None of you like shit, boy. Hoping I never find out that you're anyone else. Cause I love ya. Alright, so listen. So it seems like today you might be getting some uh, romantic gestures. You may be getting some romantic gestures being um, sent your way from this Knight of Cups. Maybe a Cancer, um, Scorpio, Pisces. And Spirit is trying to tell you to keep going. Keep going. Um, I see this Queen of uh, Coins right here in the reverse. So with that, that's basically telling me you're in a place where you're still like working on your foundation. You're still kind of putting your plate together so that you can eat real good. You just, you know, and you're still working on a release. Like, you know, it's not, you're not on the beginning stage of this release. You're at the tail, you're, you're at the tail end of this release. And God wants you to know that you're protected with these feathers. And this is this hermit, you know, right now you are um, still kind of maybe secluding yourself from the world. I feel like you, Look up to the moon and the, and, the, and the stars. And I feel like you, you're making wishes on the moon and the stars and things like that. And it looks like you're doing a career transition. It says your life purpose is triggered. It's triggering a blessed career change. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Hmm. Fifth dimension. And the ace of swords. I feel like, okay. Mm, 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 mm. I get it. Fuck fear. Okay, so this is what I'm getting, ladies. You guys are, like, making a big transition. A lot of you guys, I feel like this is, this is the showing stage. This is this, you know, you don't pulled up to St. Louis. This is the show me state. Isn't, isn't St. Louis the show me state? Y'all don't pulled up to the show me state. And I feel like right now, you know, Things are picking up in the romance department. You guys are going to be getting a lot of, you know, communication from people that are going to be, like, very serious and possibly not aggressive in a bad way, but, like, very serious and, you know, tenacious about the fact that they really like you, you know? There's a glow about you right now, Divine Feminine. And whatever it is that you're doing, you know, However, you're navigating these waters right now. You are doing it exceptionally well. And Spirit wants you to know to keep on going. To keep on going. Endurance. Keep on going. You're almost at the finish line. You are. Right now, Divine Feminine, what you are focusing on is your foundation and your money. And um, building a beautiful environment for your kids. And, you know, if you don't have kids yet, just making a healthy environment you guys might be rearranging a lot of furniture um you know just purging old things doing some spring cleaning right now and that might be also in the career uh, aspect as well as you can see here going later on um you're at the tail end of this release and God wants you to know that you are protected, okay? So if you guys see some like feathers, just like random feathers just floating around in your house or just like, you know, 
you just see random feathers and stuff like that that's a sign of the protection so y'all pay attention to these feathers okay y'all pay attention to these feathers like y'all know y'all might put on a coat or something and then just a feather might just float around and that and you normally that would irritate you but now you're going to look at these feathers a different way because that's a sign of protection all right because you guys have been healing you guys have been nurturing yourself you guys have been working on um truly manifesting and getting your faith and you know focusing on your hopes and your dreams truly wishing on the stars truly wishing on the stars and it seems like you're going to be protected in regards to this uh career transition here you might be going it going at something alone with that hermit card you know, some of you guys might be deciding to go on your own career venture on your own. You might be start your own businesses. You guys might be, you know, doing your own, you know, consulting work on your own, stepping away from whatever, you know, organization or whatever the norm is. You know, you guys are stepping out because I feel like. This fifth dimension card, and then this, uh, what is this? The Ace of Swords in the in the reverse. This is someone that is like doing a deep, deep, deep dive on like various different levels, trying to search for their inner truth. Because I feel like this person might have felt tied up. This person might have felt restricted. This person may have felt bound to a certain way of thinking, a certain way of being that society told them that's the way of being and it's just like I feel free I feel free being me and this is someone searching for a way that they can truly live in their truth you know what I'm saying because I don't feel like they've been able to live in their truth and I and I and I see that's why that's your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change so there's certain things that you're having to change in your life where you're just having to say fuck fear in regards to other things in your life you know what i'm saying personal things in your life and now you're looking at things in every aspect of your life seriously searching for that deep inner truth because you're like fuck fear i'm doing what is best for me what is best for me and God wants you to know to keep with that endurance. Keep going. Fuck fear. It will lie to you in your face. If you're feeling like you want to do something, you want to jump out there, and especially with that career change or whatever it is that you want to do, you want to go at something alone, you're protected. Release that fear. Seriously release that fear. You're protected. You know? You're protected. You are protected. God see you working on your coin. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A lot of people are admiring you. They're admiring your endurance. They're admiring your strength. Keep going. Keep showing people how to make money. Keep showing them how to do this here. Keep showing them how after you... You, you fall down and you scrape your knee how to get the fuck up. And... and, and, and <laughs> And kill shit. You see what I'm saying? Keep going. Keep doing. Keep doing it. Fuck fear. Whatever you want to do, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's that. Now, what, now what is this about apologizing? Like, what, what, what are we doing tomorrow? What is going on tomorrow? Because tomorrow is looking... It's kind of looking kind of... What is it kind of looking kind of? It's kind of looking kind of something. What's going on? We'll be taking action. The three of wands. Okay. So we got this eight of cups here. Okay. And it says evolving. So it seems like the eight of cups to me seems like where someone walked away from something completely emotionally and they left everything behind 
for that evolve, you know, for that moment to evolve. So eight of cups in reverse to me is someone coming back to something that they walked away from, you know. Um, so I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna read this the way. I'm gonna read this the way that you know I'm getting it. And then I might possibly read it another way. But I'm going to read it the exact way that I'm getting it. So I feel like some of you guys are going back to. You guys are going back to your divine masculine. Okay. The, the person that you guys consider your divine masculine. Okay. You're putting your guard down in this situation. Something has changed. You know. Where you are going backwards. After you've already. Evolved. And you move past this. For some reason. You want to go back. And you want to honor. You know. The divine masculine. And you want to. Put your guard down. You know. And, I, and, and let this person back in. But at the same time. I feel like you're putting your guard down. And you are. At least communicating with this person. To hear what they have to say at least. But your heart ain't in it. Your heart is, so for some reason, your heart isn't trusting it. But you feel like there's an indestructible bond here. You feel like there's an indestructible bond here with this person. For some, but, but, for some reason, you, your mind is telling you that it's an indestructible bond. But your heart ain't no fool. Do you feel what I'm saying? Right now, there's a lot of good fortune coming to you the spirit is telling you to be courageous and stand up for your beliefs and take action okay so if there's something i feel like i feel like what i'm feeling here there might be a conversation that that is had between you and the divine masculine it was the person you did you 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 poured out all of the cups and you walked away from okay so I feel like this person is, is, is coming back. Or I don't know, maybe you're going back to them. It seems like you might be going back to them in some way. And this might not resonate for everyone. Uh, yeah. It's like your, your heart and your mind ain't. You know what I'm saying? Is is it is it really correlating with each other? Your heart really don't trust the situation, but because of the fabric and the and the and the amount of time and the effort that's been spent here, in your in your mind, you you feel like this is indestructible. You know that this situation has bones here, bones way deeper than anything else. But there's a lot of good fortune coming into your life, and. God wants you to continue to be courageous and towards the change and, and, and to move forward and take action towards the change, you know. But I feel like you are going to, you're going to communicate with this person because you, you're looking for this person and just fucking apologize for what happened in the past. But... What you're doing is where you're moving forward already. You were already moving forward. You know what I'm saying? You were moving forward. You know? So you're halting yourself waiting for an apology. Or maybe even more. But, you know, spirit is telling you to take action. But... You're halting your decision to move. Trying to tell someone to fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it. That's honestly what I'm feeling here. Because it's like you got... You got an indestructible bond here with this person. True, true indeed. But if you have good fortune and for 
action and, and you know everything moving forward in your favor. Don't stop what you're doing waiting for someone to apologize to you. That's the only thing I'm saying, Divine Feminine. You feel what I'm saying? Because what if this person don't never apologize? What if this person just wanted to reel you in just to string you along? You know? So let's let's get some additional. Because I just want some additional guidance for Wednesday for this spread right here. Can I have some additional guidance for this spread here? Thank you. The Eight of Cups, divine ma honoring divine masculine. What is this? The Nine of Wands, reverse heart chakra in reverse. Bones, indestructible. Wheel of Fortune, courage, action. Three of Wands in reverse, and fucking apologize. Just give me some guidance for Wednesday. Hmm. Competition. So. Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups. Temperance, Ta Bomba Blood. Listen me, listen me, listen. Listen, if y'all, if for the ones that, and I'm, and, 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 and I'm, and I'm going to let y'all know, for the ones that, um, are going back to the divine masculine because they still love them and they're trying to honor that connection and they want to put their guard down, but their heart isn't really sure about it, but they really feel like there's an indestructible bond here and they feel like there's going to be good luck and good fortune here and they're trying to be you know they're trying to have courage here they're trying to be courageous and giving it another chance and they want to take action and it's not moving forward you know and they feel like they need to apologize to their divine masculine for that group of people for that group of people because I feel like, in some sense, some people are just kind of just happy that the Divine Masculine is even back, you know, period, you know, um, for that group of people. This is clarifying this, okay? So, listen, there's, there's, there's other people, there's competition, there's going to, you know, it's going to be... The <laughs> oh my goodness, listen. You want to put your guard down for for the same old shit. You know what I'm saying? There's still going to be a competition. There's still going to be a battle. There's still going to be, you know, um, possibly the beginning stages of, you know, fresh arguments. Fresh, you know what I'm saying? Like. People that you don't even know yet. Like, these are new people. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, to where it's out like back in the day, like, maybe you might have knew some of the people that you was your competition and stuff like that. You don't even know these people. You know what I'm saying? And this person is still just trying to sneak away and just trying to get away from something to come to you. You see what I'm saying? So this is going to put you in a in a in a battle, you know, because this person is trying to sneak away. And I don't know if you're the Queen of Cups or or you know the person there, but I can't see them trying to sneak away from the Queen of Cups. But they this person is trying to sneak away. This person is going to put you in some bull in the middle of some bullshit. Trying to sneak away, trying to come to you because you're loving, you're affectionate, you're kind, you're giving, you're nurturing, you know, you're caring. It's going to throw you off your balance. It's going to bring you unhappiness. 
and it's going to bring you another time moment that you can't avoid. You know? So, it's like, I mean, I'm not going to say you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it because I'm telling you now so that you can't avoid it. But if you start, if you, if you pick this up, it's going to be the same shit, different toilet. Same shit, different toilet, you guys. Please give me some additional guidance for this spread here. Thank you so much. It's all of that drama is not worth an apology. Not when you're moving forward and you good and your career is changing and shit like that. It's not even worth it. I wouldn't even want nobody to apologize for me. I already see you for who you are. You coming back to me with the same energy. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's like, especially if your heart on the table is already saying that you don't trust it, but you're willing to put in one last fight. Like, no. You got to use your heart. You got to use your brain. What is this? Promise. You're looking for a promise. Looking for a promise, passion, anger, courage, strength. I feel like you're looking for a promise in a situation. Like you're looking to be that diamond. You want to get that passion back, you know. But at the same time, this this relationship brings both passion and anger. And you know what I'm saying? It brings the, the pleasure and the pain here. Um, what is this saying? Horns, dominance. Like this is a, a a relationship that takes dominance over you and your ability. I feel like to make right decisions. Um, nourishment, nourishment. It's something in this relation relationship here that you feel like is nourishing. What is this saying? Your hard work and determination is creating blessings and foundations for the future. I want to say that, okay, so this milking, okay, and then what is this? Hospitality. Hmm. Envy. Ooh. Blue, serenity, tranquility, peace. I get it. Like I said, you guys are the queen of cups, okay? So what you what you what you do for this person here, what you do for this person here, you you give them the milk and the bread. Do you see what I'm saying? This is nourishment. You know what I'm saying? This person sees the hard work and the de and the determination that you are creating here. They see that. And they see it's creating blessings and a, and a strong foundation for you. And they envy that. And they want a piece of this serenity and this, and this tranquility <laughs> that you've created. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you understand? Do you understand? So it's just like... You're looking to be the diamond in something that brings you both pleasure and pain. And that you feel kind of dominates your ability to make wise decisions when you do interact with this person. And this person is just, like we said, putting you in a situation where it's going to be a competition. This person is sneaking around just like they were sneaking around playing mind games and shit before. It's something that they feel like they left behind. And they want to come back and get it. And they sneak it back to get it. Every little piece of it that they feel like they can get. They're going to get it from you. And they're going to get it from each one of these other people too. Do you see what I'm saying? They know that you're loving. They know that you're nurturing. They know that you're all of that. They know that they can easily throw you off balance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And take your sunshine. But you can avoid this. You can avoid this, you guys. It doesn't matter about the, the foundation and the bones of this relationship. What is the bones telling you? 
The bones is telling you that you're dealing with someone like this. So be careful of who you who you interacting with looking for an apology. Like I wouldn't want their apology. You know what I'm saying? I want I wouldn't want the apology from someone who looks at me like I'm their milk and their bread. And is envious at the success and the hard work that I'm putting in to be successful and to be solid and to be, you know, no. Don't look at me like I'm your milk and your bread. Be careful what you guys are asking for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because y'all will get it. Y'all will get exactly what y'all are asking for. If y'all threw this person in the trash, leave his ass in the trash. Stop giving a clown the 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 title of a divine masculine. It's not a divine masculine. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you were moving forward, continue moving forward. Continue moving forward. This person can smell this career transition. This person can smell your success. And this person can smell these other people. These other romantic gestures from other people. Be smart, ladies. Do you understand? I love you. I love you. So, let me wrap this one up. If this uh, video resonated at all, if it resonated at all, if it gave you some insight, uh, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Fuck fear. And fuck, fuck this nigga apologizing. For real. Fuck fear. It would, it, fuck it. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck this shit. Fuck fear in regards to you changing your, tra um, your, your traditional way of you living and making money if you want to do something different that is outside the norm you want to go on your own do it do it and fuck looking for this person to apologize to you all right love you peace